Hey, what's up? It's Evan from photoextremist.com, and today you are going to learn how to make this picture. Whoa. Now, the first thing you're going to need are some battery operated Christmas lights. These are also known as fairy lights. They come in different uh, sizes and different colors. Here's a blue one, and you can see that there's just a bunch of LEDs on the end of a cord. Now, those are blue ones. Um, and actually the wire is not that long on them. So what we're going to have to do, here's another one here, is we're going to have to take speaker wire and extend the cord so we have all the lights bundled up at the end of the cord. And now right here, in order to get different colors, you can get white LEDs and then place flash gels over them just color gels. So here's an, a red one and a blue one. So once you've got all that done, you've got your battery operated fairy lights, you've extended the cord to make it longer. Uh, there'll be a video about how to do this down below in the description. Uh, next thing, optionally, you can add some weight to the end. And what I've done is I just took some colored LEDs and just took a keychain and put it on the cord here. And so if I wanted to, I could turn on some extra LEDs, but right now I'm just using that as a weight just to make it so I can spin it easier. So in order to take the actual picture, what we're going to have to do is start spinning this cord around in our hand. And while we're spinning it, try to keep your elbow on your body, have it at a 90 degree angle where it's stationary, um, and also keep your hand as still as possible while you're spinning it. Another thing that you can do is look on the ground, try to find a stone or maybe place a quarter or a coin or something down on the ground and just spin it around that point every single time, making sure that it passes directly above that object that you placed on the ground. After you got some momentum going and you're spinning it, what you're going to want to do now is orbit your body around your hand, which is the pivot point. So do this carefully, do it kind of slow. It takes some practice. Adding some extra weight to the bundle of lights will always help a little bit. Um, but really it just takes a lot of practice. Now you only have to spin it for 180 degrees. You only have to go around like this until you're facing the other side. But a lot of people do a 360 anyway, and some people just spin around as much as they can until the camera stops taking the picture. So it's up to you. Do what you need to do, have fun, and uh, here are some pictures that I've taken recently using this exact same technique. Alright, bam, this is the picture that you saw before, and I never described how I got that color on the tree. And the trick is, is I got a big, huge, bright flashlight, and I placed some colorful gels over that huge flashlight. They're just like the ones that you saw on the LEDs, but they're just bigger. So with the 30 second long exposure, I did some light painting and I just shine the light all over the tree in different directions with different colors on the flashlight each time. And I actually took a bunch of exposures doing this and then I combined them later in Photoshop using Lighten as the blending mode for all the layers. Uh, here's another one just on a road that I took last night. Um, here's another one in my front yard and I also used the same flashlight and the gels. This one is outside on the road and I froze myself using a flash to get that effect. And this one was taken at very early dawn when the sun was just about coming up. So that's why it kind of looks like daytime, but I could still, it was still dark enough that I could still get the long exposure of the orb. So you're going to have to wake up around 5 a.m. to get shots like this, but I was all, all up the entire night anyway taking these orb shots, so... This one I took last night and I actually got a trail of a car going down the road and it went through the orb I made. And this was shot in 2 a.m. in the morning. So how can the sky be that bright in 2 a.m.? Well it wasn't. I actually made it appear to be brighter in the camera by making the exposure very long, raising the ISO, and opening up the aperture value. So I think it was about, it was probably around 30 seconds f 2.8 um, ISO 800 or something like that. And this right here, if you can guess what was used to make these orbs, I will give you a free copy 
of my ebook trick photography and special effects just leave a comment and we'll see who wins the first person who comments correctly I'll send them a private message with the ebook link and one last thing I forgot to mention is that the entire trick photography video course is coming out soon I want it to be released by November it there's six hours worth of material so far um, I'm gonna try to make it around seven probably we'll see but that is going to be released soon and there's gonna be a lot more information about all this stuff long exposure photography and all that stuff is gonna be in there so look forward to that and I'll see you in the next video